Today we're going to cook basmati rice and we're going to make a biryani, a chicken biryani. So also with the rice, we're going to use this Bombay biryani mix. Emma's peeling some potatoes, which will go in the biryani curry. And then we need to have garlic, ginger. We will use garlic, ginger, curry paste. Also, we will add tomatoes. And then the biryani mix, uh, which is already mixed uh, powders. Emma's cutting the potatoes for the biryani. Yeah, this is the garlic and ginger paste which will go in the biryani. biryani we will also add tomato paste because we haven't got fresh tomatoes but usually you cut you use some fresh tomatoes so what we have here for the biryani is uh, garlic and ginger paste uh, tomato paste because we haven't got the fresh tomatoes potatoes a little curry powder, salt and cooking oil and the biryani masala mix or the masala mix, yes. This is the chicken pieces we're gonna use for the biryani. Uh, it's been washed nicely. First we wash the rice uh, a few times you know and drain the water that that is basmati rice long grain beautiful rice you know we're going to cook the rice first in a pressure cooker in a rice cooker uh, this is homemade biryani so people do it a different way you know they uh, Half cook the rice or three quarter cook the rice and then mix it with the biryani, chicken curry. So we're doing it from a microwave, just cooking the rice for about 20 minutes or so. When we start to make the biryani, we uh, pour some oil in the wok or, or the pan and we fry some onions first before we start putting the other ingredients in. You need about two, two big onions. First we, we're going to fry the onions in oil till the onions are brown. Where's that? We had the garlic and ginger paste, mix that together, mix that up together, and let it cook. Keep stirring it till the on onions are brown. Now the onions are brown, so we add the chicken in. So we mix the chicken in and uh, keep stirring for a while till the chicken is a bit cooked or looks a bit brown. is cooking so we're going to add some salt about half a tablespoon of salt will be enough then what we're going to do mix, mix that up nicely and uh, the chicken is partly cooked so we're going to put some uh, biryani powder, uh, masala. We 
That's the biryani masala's going in. Mind you, it's a pretty hot, so don't put too much in. We'll mix this up nicely. Now we're going to add some potatoes. The potatoes are in. Now we're going to add, going to mix it nicely and let, then let it cook for a while. Now we're adding some tomato paste. Remember, we don't have fresh tomatoes. And we'll, we'll add some water after it's been mixed. Now we're going to add some water. Remember, this is our recipe of making a biryani, a homemade biryani, a quick biryani. So, it should be nice and tasty when we finish, when we start to eat. Okay, we let that simmer and cook for, for about 20 minutes, half an hour. So, we're putting the rice in the, on top of the biryani. The chicken biryani. We'll cover it with rice. Okay, now we'll cover the pan and let the rice cook a bit longer. Then the biryani will be ready, the chicken biryani will be ready when the rice is cooked, fully cooked. Okay, the biryani is ready now, so we'll mix it all together. Mix it from the bottom up and uh,